Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. Today's video is the first episode of my new series, Musicians Book Club, which I'm very, very excited about. And in this series, I want to show you books, which I read and I found very, very helpful as a musician. The first book I want to show you is Performance Success, written by Don Green. I know that this book is not so easy available out there, um, but I hope maybe if the people are seeing this video, they will publish it more. I got mine from the Guildhall School Library. And shout out to the Guildhall School Library. They have so many amazing books about music and I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to read all of these books. But maybe a library has it in stock somewhere or you can buy it uh, used. I know in the States it might be easier to get it in the UK than the rest of Europe and the world. But if you stumble over it, please read it. Don Green, the writer of this book, um, he is an audition coach and he was the sport psychologist of the US Olympic diving team and he worked with different orchestras together with the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra and the New York Philharmonic and with a lot of musicians worldwide and he is also giving courses I think at the Juilliard School. One thing I want to mention before we are talking about the book itself is something a teacher told us in the course I'm visiting here at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama London and he was talking about the sports industry and athletes, especially about Olympic athletes and he was saying that the sport industry is putting a lot of money in mental training and the sports industry wouldn't put so much money into mental training if it's not worth it and basically musicians are athletes we are just athletes of the small muscles and we have to perform under pressure the same as olympic athletes have to do and i think this mental aspect is often overlooked as musicians but i think it's really really important and that's what this book is about this book is kind of a self-help book, I would say. So you have to reflect a lot about yourself, about yourself when you are practicing, about yourself when you are performing. And the first thing you have to do is fill out a survey um, about yourself, which is looking like this. So there are like different questions about you and you have to say how much that is true for you or not. And it's covering actually what are your strengths and what are your weak points. What he is suggesting then is to make a tape of the things, pieces, excerpts you have to play under pressure and you record yourself and you are just writing what you need to improve and what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. You should also give this tape to a listener when there is nobody in the room and the listener should also write his comments about these pieces excerpts. He's then explaining what stress does to your body. There are always two responses. One is the physical response, which could be, for example, a high heart rate, and then the psychological um, response which could be for example a loss of focus, confusion um, and so on and then what did these two combined um, do to your actual playing. Then we're coming to the main part of the book and he is saying that you have to have seven essential skills for an optimal performance and he is explaining the seven skills which are determination, poise, mental outlook, emotional approach, attention, concentration and resilience. He's then explaining of which aspects all of these seven skills consist. And um, he is explaining also the aspects and how you can improve the aspects. So basically you have this really big skill which consists of really, really small aspects. And in order to get a higher score or to get better in your skill, you have to improve these little, little aspects. As a small example, I wanna um, say what he's saying about determination. So determination consists of intrinsic motivation, 
the commitment, the will to succeed, and also goal setting. About goal setting, he's saying that you have to have different goals. You have to have outcome goal, then you have to have a process goal and a practice goal. After you reflect on all of the seven skills and you know where you are and how you can improve, you only have to work on these aspects of the skills and then normally you should be mentally more prepared. In the last chapter he is suggesting that you make a contract with yourself and he's also giving you a plan how you work before your big day is, make a little bit like a countdown and where he's like giving a lot of instructions and how you can do that which I find really helpful. Of course, I can't cover the whole book here. It's just as an inspiration for you to read it. It basically changed a lot of my life to um, read about it. And it's so good. And there is also a really, really interesting talk on YouTube from him. I will link it in the description down below. And um, where he's also talking about the performance success. I hope this video was helpful for you. I think I will cover some topics of his books in my next videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss these videos. And I see you in my next video. Bye!